this is Rochelle with the Clearance Geek and this weekend we actually went out of town um, I mentioned in a previous video that our closest Ikea was about three hours away and we decided to drive three hours and go there this weekend so now I'm gonna give you an Ikea haul and we actually got a lot of clearance stuff and saved a lot of money while we were there so I'm gonna let you know and I just want to also tell you that we actually went in and out of Ikea in about an hour we dropped the kids off at the small end uh, daycare center and we picked them up right as we were checking out. My husband was checking out, I was picking them up. So we were in and out in that amount of time. So the first item is this knife block, which I thought was really cute. And I'd actually found it, we found everything we wanted online to begin with. Um, so we went in, we knew exactly what we wanted and went straight for it. And this was on my list that I wanted, but we actually went to the as is section and found this for $5. It sells for 20 originally, but there was nothing wrong with it. There's, I mean, it looks pretty perfect, but it was $5 instead of 20. So we saved $15 just on this knife block. And then we got this fake tree, it's very large, but um, it was originally $40 and it was actually on clearance for 10. And I really liked it and I thought it was really cute and I really wanted um, some fake plants. Uh, I kill real plants very quickly. I want some fake ones for the house to make it nice and green and look fresh. So this was a really good purchase and we saved $30 just on this tree. And then I'm actually setting up my new desk area in our room at the computer there and we don't have any shelving. It's just like a plain desk area. There's no nothing, no drawers, anything. So I needed some drawers. So we found this for $15, which is the regular price, but it was really good quality and it's gonna work really well for what I need it for. And then for our couch, we actually need some new throw pillows. The ones we have right now don't match as well as I'd like them to. Um, so we found these and they were on sale. They're usually, I think $7 a piece and they were on sale for $5 a piece. So we grabbed these little covers to put on our pillows. And to go with that, we actually, for an accent pillow, got this one. It was a regular price of $10, but it was one of the cheaper options for some accent pillows. Then we got the octopus hanger, which if you watched my day in the life of a cloth diapering mom, I said we already had one of these, but we really need a second one um, to hang up cloth diapers to dry. And so this was definitely something we really needed. And it looked like they were maybe getting rid of them. I'm not sure it said last chance. So if you're in the market for some octopus hangers, I would go get them now if you can. Oh, and that was $5, uh, regular price. So our eight year old needed a new pillow for her bed. She had some like really rough older pillows. So we went and got her this one, which was $3 regular price, but it's a lot softer than the like $2.50, $2.50 pillows at Walmart. So this is a really, uh, this is a better option than the cheaper options at other stores. And then we needed a new pillow cover also for the nursery. And so we got this one and I think it was regular price at $7, but it's really cute and I really love the little pink tassels. Then another thing we always pick up when we go to Ikea is batteries. And I think these are $1.30 each. I can't remember exactly, but they're a lot cheaper than pretty much anywhere else. Um, we usually get our batteries at Aldi, but they are, I think a slightly better price at Ikea. Then we got this, which I think was $1.99 or $2.99, but it's just a hanger for hanging towels and such on that we're gonna put in our bathroom. And this is something I really wanted because I really like making fun lunches and such and fun food for the kids. So this is an ice cube tray, um, but I'm gonna actually put yogurt in it, like Greek yogurt and such, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer and make like little frozen yogurt flower shapes for the kids to eat. Um, kind of like ice cream, but a little healthier. And since spring and summer coming up, I thought it'd be a really great outdoor snack when they're playing outside or we're going to the park or anything. And then these are just always a really great buy. Just, you won't need to hang things. Usually after you go to Ikea, you have bought stuff that you need to hang and 
There's a lot of different screws and wall anchors and and this was about five dollars? I think it was seven. Seven dollars? Yeah, that was my choice. That was my husband's <laughs> choice. He's, he said it's a good buy, so I believe him on that. <laughs> and then these are like magazine. It's a five pack of magazine holders and they're just cardboard. But I wanted these for a while for like kids coloring books and such to kind of hold them because the kids have a lot of coloring books and things that I use for snack activities. But it was a pack of five of them for $1.99, so $2, which is a lot cheaper than even getting them from the dollar store, which was going to be my other option. And the ones from the dollar store are plastic and sometimes wire, but I don't need them to be that like heavy duty because it really is just coloring books. So I thought the cardboard was a great idea. And it's a lot less waste than plastic. So we just redid the kids' bathroom uh, with Christmas clearance, actually. We got some, it's not Christmas themed, but some of the bathroom like shower curtains and such were just gold and they put it as like Christmas decor, but it really wasn't Christmas themed. So we used that for the kids' bathroom. And then I wanted to get them some cute prints to hang up in there. So I'm gonna find Dollar Tree uh, frames for them, but. We got this pack and it was usually $12 and it's a pack of four, um, eight by 10 prints, but it was on sale, it was on clearance for $3. So $3 for four little prints, which is again, cheaper than going to like the Dollar Tree and getting prints. So it's a really good deal. It was great. And then lastly, I got little plant pots for, I'm gonna go and try to find maybe some real plants, maybe some fake ones, I'm not sure yet. But they're 79 cents each. So if I kind of go by if it's a good deal, if it's cheaper than the dollar store, I go to the dollar store a lot. I know what I can find there. And if something's better quality and cheaper, that's when I pick it up. So these 79 cents, cheaper than dollar store, better quality, um, and the pots you can find there. So I got these to put plants in a little bit later. And then, as always, we got two of the IKEA bags, which I believe are like $1.30, $1.50 but they are huge they're gigantic and i love these for consignment sales i use them all the time for going to consignment sales because you can fit so much in there you can i tie it onto a stroller and just like stuff it full of stuff and even when it's overflowing it all fits and so if you like doing consignment sales or anything like that or even if I go to a consignment store and they're having like a fill a bag sale, I'll bring those so I can just put everything in there and then, you know, put it in the bag after. IKEA bags are great for things like that. So if you're into saving money, one of the best ways you can do it, I think, is getting an IKEA bag or two and using that for big sales. So everything we got normal price would have been around $150. But we actually paid about $98 before tax. So we saved like $52 by going to the as is section or buying clearance and such like that, buying sales. So even a place like Ikea where it doesn't accept coupons, you can still save money. And especially if you're smart about things and you know what you're going for to begin with and know what you want. So I hope you really liked this video and please like the video. And if you aren't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments if you have an Ikea close to you, what your favorite Ikea items are, and the best find you've seen in the as-is section lately. Thanks. Have a great day.